Alrighty, a very quick tutorial about how to get an MP4 into GarageBand so that we can record the soundtrack for this little trailer. We'll get an empty project up, so we'll choose that in GarageBand. We'll just hit on anything for now, just to start us off. We don't need our musical typing yet, but we'll use it later. Now let's just move this out of the way, and there's our scrap trailer. We're going to drag it in. It does its thing, it opens up a very big window, which we do not need, so we're just going to minimise that just by clicking in the corner here and making it smaller. Alrighty. So now we've got our great scrap trailer, and here it is, it's in GarageBand. Now the sound, the audio has already been removed from this video, um, which is good, so if we play it, there will be no sound at all. Okay, so we're all ready to go. Now the two places we really need to go are... Apple Loops. So we're going to start with this. So if we click on this, we've got all these sounds available to us to use for this trailer. Now we're going to try and stick with the instruments of the orchestra. So we've got your strings here. We've got woodwind, horns, we've got percussion. Of course you can use some other ones, but let's stick with the instruments of the orchestra for now. So we'll click on strings and we've got heaps and heaps to choose from. So your first job really is to go through all of these sounds and experiment with them. So what you can do is you click on it to hear it. Oh, very gripping. What's one at the top? What about this one? Oh, very sad. This one? Interesting. Ooh. We could go to China for our scrap trailer. So we'll choose one. I'm just going to choose oh, that gripping one. Let's click on it. We hold it in. We drag it into our scrap trailer. Now it's not going to go up there because it's not an audio track, so that's fine. And we want it to be at the beginning. Excuse me, just move out of the way, please. And we'll put it right at the start. So now we can watch our scrap trailer down the bottom with our new sound. Alright, now one thing we can do, if you don't want the end two sounds, you can even cut this loop a little bit. You can change the how long the loop goes for. Um, you can also, so I'm just holding down here and you see this little bracket shaped thing. Um, you can also make it go on for much longer by looping it. I just tried to drag that then and it let go. There we go, so I'm just dragging that across by using my mouse. I'll just go back to how short it is. Another thing you can do, if you decide you really just like this sound at the end, if I put this line round about where that starts, I can edit it up here. I can split that region up. And now I can decide, well, I'm going to move this bit to there, I'm going to keep a gap here. Now why you would do that, I'm not really sure, but it depends on the action if you think no. Those two stabs of sound are going to sound better somewhere else. Um, then you could do that. Now I'm just going to go back by Control command Z and just get back to where I was. So I just undid that. But that's something you could do if you wanted to use a sound a few times further on down the track. All right, the other place you want to go, we'll close our upper loop, you don't need it for now. When you want to record your own sound in, a brand new sound, you need to have one of these tracks up and you can either use a USB keyboard and play it in yourself or you can always use the musical typing. Um, I better click on this one so that it's ready to go. Now here you can just see it just looks like a computer keyboard. Now I can either use my mouse you can hear the clicking sound, or I can just use the keys. I'm hitting K, J, H, etc. So I can play it in myself. Now when we go to do that, I'm going to hit record. It's going to give me a counting of four, so I'm ready to go. So what I will do is I'll wait for those four clicks before I start to play what I want to play. So I've just decided to do a downward, a descending pattern. I've just moved down as you would have seen. Alright, so I've got this lovely descending melody happening here. But now this is when the library comes into play. I don't want it to sound like a classic electric piano. I want to stick with 
the string family. So I'll go into my library. I've got a few electric pianos here, but if I click on the top one, I get all of my library sounds. So if I go into the orchestra, which I'm going to do, I can find some strings here. And there's two to choose from. If I decide, no, I don't think I'll do strings, I might do woodwinds. I might do a clarinet solo, or I might do some French horns. So you can just experiment again with what it sounds like. So if we play it now from here, I'll hit play. Oh, very dramatic. I might go, yeah, let's try oh, a choir instead, a female choir. Let's go to there. Let's start again and hear what that sounds like. Oh, <laughs> delightful. So I think we'll go back to strings, shall we? So strings, let's do a string ensemble. Let's hear it from the beginning, see what we think. Awesome. Now the last thing I do want to tell you about is if you want to record in any sound effects that you provide yourself. So we'll go up to track. We need a new track now and we need the microphone because we're going to do it in ourselves. So I'm going to hit create. Okay, I'm on computer. Rainbow wheel. Try one more time for my slow Mac. There you go. Hello. Um, same deal again, we're going to hit record, it will give us another count in and I'm going to record a vocal sound to go with this. Oh, lovely. Let's have a listen to it. <laughs> Beautiful. Now you'll notice it's a bit too loud, isn't it? So we've got these great things here and this can happen everywhere as well. If I want to make sure that's not too loud and I want my string ensemble to, ensemble to be really loud, you can play around with the volume levels here. Um, so let's try it this time with all that going on. Poor Scratch It. Now, if you decided you wanted that oh happening at the same time as the walk away, you can drag these anywhere that you want to. So you might decide that you want the sad sound happening while the strings are going. Okay. Um, so there's lots and lots of different options open to you. So remember, your Apple Loops is a very important place to go. And here they all are. If you just reset them, you'll see all of them. Um, but you can choose different ones. You can choose experimental. You could choose oh, I don't know, grooving. There's lots of different ones there for you to choose. And the other place you want to go, I'll click that and hide it, is the library. So anything that you play in yourself, you can change the sound of that. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, good luck and have fun becoming a movie composer. Bye.